as you may have seen, I got this rug from the floor of a closed down vacuum shop and we cleaned it initially with Kirby's dry foam cleaning system in the form of my 1981 Heritage one. Well, as fun and brilliant as that was, it does need to be done. I would say properly, I would say extraction cleaning. Of course, I have a Tinko Carpet One Pro, which should be amazing for this because the Kirby did leave it incredibly damp. We completely overwetted it. It took ages to dry, but I didn't want to just do this to dry it because obviously we needed to vacuum it off when the foam was dry. So now we can do it properly. We can use the Tinko. And we are going to be trying out this vintage box of Vax Alarite Carpet Solution. The expensive stuff that you could buy with your Vax 3-in-1 machine. Oh yes, because hey, this is a 3-in-1 machine. It'll be fine. Let's see how this goes. Yes, hello, my vacuum cleaner, SIBO and carpet washing chums. How are you today? Yes, I want this done very promptly, so I'm afraid as much as we may one day get the Vax 121 out, and do something fun with it, you know, it's currently week before Christmas, I want this done, dry, and yeah, there is no better tool, I don't think, than this, because this is a very close-knit, artificial, you know, decent pile of carpet, and this should be able to get a good scrub on, and yeah, good to crack it out again, and I also want to shampoo this, which you may have seen in a few of my videos, we're looking after it for mother, the edges were curling and I can stick it under the sofa. So that is why we are here. So before I go and put the tape line down, we're going to have a look at this. Yes, this was in one of the boxes at Barton's when we went through there. And I don't think I've ever seen one in person. It's not as faded in here. Let's see. Yes, one, two, one era. The posh, expensive one. Look, instructions, initial treatments. You do this a couple of times. World patent pending, and obviously Vax from Hampton love it. Protect from freezing, well I can't promise it hasn't been frozen, but this one, I've already taken the cap off, it smells very disinfectant-y, you know, it's, it's not bad, it smells pretty strong. So instructions, 250ml of allergen, so this is 7, oh there you go, look, oh, look it's got... It's got the markings on it, however, I don't think this is a 4 litre tank at all. So um, we're actually just going to do half of the dose and see how it goes. I mean, who knows if this is any good or not. Ah. Oh, there we go, that's far too much. That'll do. This is either going to go horribly wrong or okay. I mean, you know, we're only talking about a product that's probably older than me or the same age and I'm 35 so we're going to put this in there I mean if it does all go completely peak tongue we can say we tried and obviously crack out the proper stuff here but yeah as long as it's got the foam built in which we're very quickly going to find out might be all right so let's tape off and get started well there we go we'll see how long that lasts right let's turn this on and boot up Right, yeah, we'll leave it in auto mode for a bit, I guess. Check the dirty water tank. Ooh. What's wrong with you? I've not used it in a while, but it's... Ah, the little float valve was stuck up at the top. Always make sure it's popped down below, he says, hoping that, that is the issue. <laughs> we happy now?
Edmonton, and obviously I can nail on it. It is you know, mostly dry. I haven't finished with it yet, so I didn't go crazy with the old drying mode. But yes, the Tinko does well again. And we've done the tank now, so we're going to empty this into a clear jug so we can see how much more filth we pulled out. Oh, wow. Ha! There we go. Look, that's what comes out of a rug that is used in the entranceway to a shop. Blimey, I think we've got a couple more of those to come. In here is okay. It's uh, doing what a lot of other wet and dry upright vacuums do. And actually, if you let it fill up too much, it, all, the, all the damp manages to get into the motor. What kills a lot of vaxes? Who knows? We might be all right. Okay, and I'm going to do more of the same, really. I'm probably not going to film it quite as much. But... It's another transformation in my opinion, although not, not quite as dramatic as the first one. And it's mainly in the blue. The white is about as white on either side, but the blue is so much deeper on the side that has been shampooed and obviously a lot fluffier. I think, I think this is still going to be step two of perhaps three, although we can do step three in the summer. This is certainly going to be good enough for me to keep in the house at least. And yeah, it's quite nice and dry. So I'm going to do all of this and then I'll, I'll, I'll come back when it's done and we can see if we notice an improvement. I've noticed a little bit of a stain there, annoyingly, and there, and maybe there. But overall, it's, just, it's in astonishingly good condition. Right, come back when it's all done. Well, there we go. The whole rug is done and dry and oh, it looks so much better. I think this is probably as good as it's going to get short of, you know, firing the pressure washer at it, which we could do. I think it might take it, but I don't think it needs it so much now. We've done another tank and we've done a tank of Tinko solution. I thought I'd do the other half with it and I don't know, I think I noticed a difference in how it looks, but this water sure does look filthier so I can't really recommend a vintage bottle of Vax Alarite I mean I can't thinking now maybe it's not actually you know a washing solution it is just a bug killing thing so hey ho lesson learned I'm sure we're going to be shampooing this multiple times to come so I'm, I'm going to leave it for now because I don't want to ruin it but yes ah. Uh, lovely SIBO dealer rug which is upside down is now I would call clean enough that I don't mind having it on the floor and using it you will start to see it crop up in some videos I, I reckon we, we may as well start to use it as something nice to demo on and I'm sure in the summer when it's a bit warmer we might get the CDT out and try shampooing it with that because I've got the new trigger for the wand so I guess we could but not now it's four degrees, it's in the shed. Calling this good enough. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you have enjoyed. And I, and this rug, and the Tinko, we'll see you soon. Bye bye.